Hey there, so today we have another review. This is from Sierra Nevada. This is a new beer. I didn't realize they're putting this out. This is Sunny Little Thing. So they're going with that packaging. They're going with the Hazy Little Thing kind of brand. And it's 7.0 IPA. They got a citrus wheat ale, uh, 5%, uh, low, low IBUs. It's got orange grapefruit. I guess they're going on the trend that that's a pretty popular thing these, these days, the citrus wheat. Uh, what, I just reviewed the Blue Moon guy, that the light Blue Moon, light sky, Blue Moon light, whatever you want to call it. Um, They've, I believe they discontinued, or maybe they brewed at the local, uh, the, the brew pubs, but discontinued the Hefeweizen, so no really wheat beer, apparently, on the uh, Sierra Nevada kind of, um, uh, I think, is there? Actually, anyway, I don't think there's any <laughs> wheat beer on their portfolio, so they're throwing that back in with the sunny little thing. So we got a citrus wheat ale. Uh, let's see how this guy turns out. Beer comes in a uh, light gold straw color. Looks pretty close to Vit beer, right? Like um, not not quite milky as some Vit beers, but uh, nice kind of haze on that. It's got a medium-ish kind of haze to it. Uh, very nice and pale, fluffy white head. It's pretty good. Very orangey. Okay, so everybody, everybody's interested in this orange thing. I mean, I've had multiple beers with this nose. Uh, what is this? I mean, uh, 10 barrel I've had recently. Uh, Terrapin. Blue Moon, oh, um, uh, Blue Point, like it's all this kind of like, everybody just wants this kind of like orangey aroma. Um, this one's pretty nice though. I will say it's, it, it's, oh, you know what? Oh, you know what it exactly reminds me of? Uh, was that Sidecar? Sidecar, that orange IPA they do? Um, very much that kind of like orange. I mean, the, the, the closest thing I think of is like orange uh, dish soap. It just has that kind of like, Orange dish, dish soap kind of thing. And actually very much imitates the, um, again, that sidecar beer from Sierra Nevada that I reviewed. So, or they were putting it in like a mixed box of IPAs like a year or two, or a couple years ago when I was reviewing it. So that's all I get. They got orange and grapefruit in here, but I just get all that kind of like orange soap cleaner thing. Wow, that's Sierra Nevada, okay. Um, on the palate, it's not as offensive. It's actually a little bit more zesty, which is quite nice. It's um, got a really nice kind of like a um, light oily character, a little bit of acidity comes in there. So you actually get a nice kind of like, like just oily orange vine kind of th character. Um, so, you know, sometimes when you're peeling an orange, you get that kind of like oiliness to it. Um, you know, a little bit of like orange zest on uh, or, uh, orange peel on an old fashioned. You get a little bit of that kind of like, you know, nice kind of flavor. So it's not as cleaner-ish on the palate. Uh, the beer in general is very light. I mean, this is in the realm of like American wheat ale. Um, it's got a little bit of character to it, a little bit of doughiness. Uh, as it lingers more, there's that kind of just like light grainy um, character, just like lets you show that like the wheat's in there. So it's there's like uh, light crackery quality, white bread, um, lingering kind of like just like, like I think they use pale two row in here, but it's almost like this Pilsner malt kind of like lightness, um, just like pale doughy and just like, Husk, that's what I'm thinking of. Um, barley husk, kind of um, malt husk kind of like flavor to it. No coriander, obviously, so like none of that like bumped up kind of citrusy spice character. It's just all that orangey thing that's like a little bit dominant up front um, with a really kind of like light canvas of a beer. Um, sorry. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad. I, I think if you're a big orange fan, uh, you're gonna like this guy. If you like the oily, uh, oily character, I think this one for me shows a little bit more authentic. Yeah, it shows a little bit more authentic. I, I think, and I think part of it might be the use of grapefruits. The grapefruits adding like a little bit of like bitterness that makes makes part of citrus is like the combination of like the different acids in there that make it sour, tart, uh, the sweetness, but also the bitterness that comes with. Um, Citrus. And I think the grapefruit's helping balance that. So like you get the bitterness from the grapefruit, you get a little bouncing bitterness from the hops. And so this way you get a little bit more complexity. And that complexity I think makes this beer um, and the uh, sort of the authentic oily uh, citrus character taste more real than like the kind of like candied, again, like cleaner kind of like um, artificial citrus lighter that I'm getting in some of the, these other beers. It is pretty dominant though. I would serve this cold. Um, I probably wouldn't want to have too many like back to back. Like it's just, 
then again, that acidity and bitterness is just quite refreshing. It does this thing that like Goza sort of does with this like tartness up front, but instead you're using the orange to give a little bit of this kind of like refreshing fruit character, a little bit of like imitation of fruity tartness, even though it's not a sour beer. And the bitterness kind of has this like uh, rind character that like sits on the back end that plays with the hops, which is actually quite nice. So I'm actually going back and forth and like the complexity is actually pretty good. Initial impression, I was like, oh, Sierra Nevada, but like they execute beers well then. Like this is, has a nice package to it, right? Uh, what we don't want is a aromatic kind of like artificial flavor thing up front, taste that, and there's nothing behind it. Here you get a little bit of like a beer package, right? That's a goal. You want to, something has uh, some complexity to it, despite it being one of those 5% crush it, don't think about it kind of beers, which I assume the goal is. Not bad. I'm going to go not bad. Um, let's go with a, it's pretty good, honestly. Um, not exactly my jam, but execution's fantastic. That's a solid 89. That's a solid 89 for me. So you're in about a sunny little thing. I think it's pretty good. Like, if that sounds like it's up your alley, if you like that kind of just like, like grapefruit orangey character in a beer and like that juiciness, it's, I don't know if it's juiciness, but it's that kind of like fruit character, like real fruit character underneath it, just a light kind of blonde ale um, or a breed ale. It's pretty good, pretty good. So. If this sounds up reality, you're going to love it because the execution, again, is just absolutely fantastic. So, and high utility, obviously, like 5%. Citrus Crusher Wheat, 90, I'm oh, sorry, 89. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Let me know what you think. Later.